I'm going to create um, an illustration that is, I suppose, the story of our time in lockdown. I love the idea of Paint the Town at Home. And I've really noticed over the last two months that we've been at home, I'm noticing things about where I live. The transition from being in mid-March to mid-May in terms of moving through the seasons has been really interesting. I'm very lucky. My home is a place of safety and happiness for me. And we have a little bit of outdoor space. We have a backyard and we have a small front garden. And that's been amazing having that space. And I suppose it will be more of a composite. And I imagine a lot of people will be drawing from their window. Um, but I suppose I would encourage you to also think about your life and those other things to create an image which is created at home um, and about the place and the people. Um, but it doesn't have to be a, a strict representation of um, your reality, of what you see before you. Uh, get used to the camera at some point soon and make sure the framing's right. And I will start with a list. Often when people come to me with an illustration commission, they will write a brief about the kind of things that they want. And that's really uh, suits the way that I work because uh, I often do that myself as well, is, is to write a list of words. And once I've got that, I can start to create the images that go, that express those. Um, so it's less of a a kind of exploratory process as I might you know if I might do when I'm painting um, that's more free uh, this I'm quite clear about what it what is that I want to do although that changes often when I'm actually doing it so my list well it's home is definitely the thing um, Owen and Sid so that's himself and the cat and yeah, we've spent a lot of time together. The seasons changing. The garden. The yard has been absolutely so important to me over the last couple of months. Uh, quite often, because of everything else, I wouldn't even get to go out there until around now. I'd always mean to because we've got a north facing yard. I need to go out there and hose it down and do paint it and everything. But it's just always miserable. So uh, I did it really early this year. So change of the seasons, and I think I see that through plants, particularly the hostas and the ferns, which I love. Routine. We've both been at home and uh, Owen's oh, studying. He's doing a degree and I've often been up here drawing and we meet every day on the front bench in the sunshine to, um, to have our lunch. So lunch on the bench, it's been a lot of TV, a lot of TV, really good, so good that there's so much TV. The cat, I'll put him in again because he is a constant. The landscape where we live, out of here, I'm up in the attic, um, my company name is Cap in the Attic, which is sometimes a pain, sometimes I wish I'd been like Cap in the grand sized middle bedroom but it's a bit late for that. Out of the front we have St Silas Church and then I can also see Darwin Tower so there's a, a wider landscape which has been really nice to be able to see the distance as well as the near because everything feels very close lately. What else? Oh shopping that's the only time I've been out. So I really noticed how beautiful fruit and veg are because we had to wash every piece. So I was actually handling every piece of fruit and veg that came in and giving it a good wash and absolutely beautiful. So I've got some photos of that. Porridge, porridge, loads of porridge, probably 60 odd bowls of porridge. I'll keep thinking. You don't need to watch me ponder all of this, but I'll be back in a bit. So other things like Zoom, talking to family, missing family, um, hanging the washing out. I'm not very domesticated, so um, actually it's been really novel for me to... I made soup. I know some people make soup all the time, but it's quite exciting for me. Uh, hanging the wash, the, the image of the washing hanging out. Yeah, that's about it. Things will come to me. I have a, start, a basic starting point, and I think what I've decided 
is that the image of the two of us uh, having our lunch together um, every day on when it's been nice on the bench at the front will be the center of the the illustration I create and then I think with all sorts of other things around it as well um, so I will crack on with doing a bit of that drawing so I use Photoshop and I work in layers and uh, somebody said to me recently when I delivered something oh you still work in layers don't you and I thought I didn't know there was another option I thought oh, when I've got time I'll explore what the other options are and the other good packages I've had all this time I haven't done it I'm quite indecisive so working digitally means that I'm able to change things quite easily and move things around and duplicate stuff and change colours. I'm terrible with colours. So uh, generally what I do is I'll create a colour palette to start off with because otherwise I just want to use all the colours. I either go black and white or use all the colours. So this allows me to do something in between. I've cracked on because what I've decided to do is like a, quite a traditional portrait with us in the centre on the bench and then a lot of the objects that I've talked about around the background. I'll probably work from photographs. I still feel really guilty about that because I come from a fine art background where you do not do that but I find it really helps and also this month I've done a family photo challenge with our family around the country and we've done a photo a day on different themes so so lots of things that have been important to me this um, this last couple of months I have photos of and so it'd be really nice to use those as part of this. I've started working on the drawing of me. So I've traced over a photograph. I find the I find I often draw quite heavy lines. If I change the size of the pen, quite heavy lines and then cut away. I, I like the quality of the line better. I also like the kind of effect that it ends up looking a little bit like a lino cut because even though I'm working digitally I still really like to be able to see that the human hand and I like to use lots of different thicknesses of line um, and then as I say cut in where I need to and leave some bits because I don't like thing I don't like things to look too neat because I'm certainly not. I'm not sure that entirely looks like me at the moment, but that's okay. That's not what this is all about. Plus, I haven't got a lot of time to do it. I don't look like me. That's not an issue. There we go. Got a bit of ooh. got a very difficult drawing the chins. I get them looking quite right. I think it looks a little a bit like I've got the helmet on at the moment and that's partially because I've got white hair and what will happen is when I've when I've laid it over another colour um, then I'll be able to take some of that line away that defines the edge and it will be um, it'll stand out. I've been carrying on working on this portrait of Owen and myself. There we go. Uh, I thought Owen likes a t-shirt with a bit of a subtle slogan on so I thought I might make his new t-shirt say the new normal uh, which seems to be something that we're hearing a lot about at the moment. So as you can see it's just kind of blocky shapes. I was just thinking about this when I was having my lunch that collages can be a really interesting way of creating an image. Um, so if you're doing your capturing painting the town at home it could be a collage made up of photographs you've taken. It could be a combination of drawing and photographs and textures and paper. It's such a playful way to work and um, it means you can include things like bits of newspapers or headlines or, or anything as long as it fits within the guidelines which is people being in Blackburn or, or of Blackburn Town Centre. So I'll start to fill these in. Um, I, as you can probably tell I like a lot of spots and stripes um, so essentials cup of tea so I'll, I'll make sure that this drawing has lots of uh, spots and stripes in it as well and get some colour in there I might well leave a lot of the figure black and white I quite like the way that stands out against a very colourful background
I've spent some time working on the picture of me and him. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Let me just pull this in. Oh, I've broken everything. Dropped out. I knew that was a bad idea. And you can see how long it took me absolutely ages to do the picture of us, but then everything else, once I've got that right, everything else just kind of is a lot quicker. I thought oh, earlier on, I thought, God, there's no way I'm ever going to get this done in time. But I, then I remembered that that's the bit that takes me forever. And now this will be much quicker. It's a mix of, of reality and fantasy and an adaptation of what life is like and I suppose really what I want to do is to tell you and I've said this before but tell you the story of our lockdown through objects through people yeah really enjoying it it's definitely not something I would have done without this challenge and I think um What's really lovely is going is is this is particularly about this time, this time at home, this time at lockdown, this time when so much is changing for so many people. It's uh, another way of me documenting how that felt and, and how it looked and, and sharing that with you. And I absolutely can't wait to see everybody else's. Good morning. It's round two of my Paint the Town at Home commission. And uh, I have to say, I nearly got up at about three o'clock this morning to come and do some more work on it because I woke up thinking about it and thinking about what I could do next, what I should do. Oh, is it looking as I hoped it looked? So that's usually a really good sign that I'm excited about something. Um, I resisted, but I did end up lying awake in bed for about an hour and a half thinking about it. I probably should have just come upstairs and done something. Check my diary today and... Uh, there's a big sign saying day off in it and the reason I was having a day off was hopefully to go to the Liverpool celebration having won the premiership so I would have been what time is it I would have been on my way there with my dad now so um, I have to have some reference to it in there I was going to put a scarf on myself but I don't think I will I'm wondering whether to do the um, t-shirts that Mo Salah wore last year the never give up t-shirt hanging on the washing line i have one of those i've got the essentials flask of tea snacks cats to sleep over there and i have podcasts to listen to do you remember how i said that it was going to move really quickly now because i've got this middle panel sorted and i was really happy well next time i say something like that don't listen to me because that was absolute nonsense I've just spent absolutely ages just fiddling and I don't feel I've got anywhere and I don't like it. It's taken loads of time that I don't really have. So yeah, don't listen to me next time I say that. I've got so much to do. I think I'm looking at too much white space at the moment and it's just, I'm not getting it. I now realise if I was doing this in not timed time i would spend absolutely ages i think the technical term is farting about changing things going away maybe going away for a couple of days coming back changing a color just there would be so much farting about and there isn't time for that today so i'll just have to get on with it which is probably really good for me actually so i'm going to add some color see what happens oh there is also um in the backyard, I must find the picture, I painted some of the walls with um, a yellow paint and then with um, kind of patterns and sunshines and things like that. So it's a very dark yard so I just wanted to do something that gave us a bit of colour and excitement. So I was going to put something in there, there's a quite a nice folk art inspired sunshine. So I'll see if it works there. Gotta find it first. See, never give up. I've got it in. See, the more I can get these things in, the better I'll feel. Hello. Again, I'm at that point in the process where I hate it. I hate art. Everything about it. I hate drawing. I don't know whose stupid idea this was anyway. I hate the way I draw. 
hate the fact that I can't use colours properly. I wish it was like someone else. I've got too many colours in it. Why can't I do colours? Why can't I draw properly? I think it's just part of the process. I'm sure I'll come out the other side, but um, one of the things I've been asked to do is to talk about my process, and that is actually a significant part of the process, is doubt, self-doubt, self-criticism, despair. And I know it's a really little thing, it's only a picture. There wasn't else that was going on, but I think it's time for a swig from my flask of tea. And it is tea honest. Feeling a bit better about it now. I've tied the washing line to my toe, which made me smile. And as soon as that happened, suddenly everything else started to make a bit more sense. Um, whether it will stay like that or not, I don't know. But I'm already looking and feeling happier about it. So I've uh, part of the process that. I've been through just now is the one where I go downstairs and eat all the food. As you can see, this uh, is is less kind of structured and more emotional today than it was yesterday. Well, I officially have no idea how much time I've got left. I've realised my heart is racing because I know I'm on a deadline. I'm just not used to that. So remember not to apply for any things that require a time limit. So it's feeling a little bit more cartoony than I would normally like, um, but I think that's got to do with time. So I think I shall work on the backyard a bit now. I mustn't forget the cats. They'll kill me. Anyone who knows a cat knows that's very likely. Right, see you in a bit. Oh, I think I might use this photo of Sid. Um, he likes to be up high. I think I'm getting there. I have been fighting with it a little bit because it feels a little bit too dark. A lot of kind of brick red and brown and, you know, the colours of Blackburn. So I think once I let go of the fact that I wanted to do something really vibrant and bright, that actually this is the colours. These are the colours of our life, of our lockdown, of our house, of our garden. And suddenly everything just looks a lot better. Still need to take some deep breaths and calm down a bit. Cup of tea, I think. Yeah, feeling a lot happier now. There are so many things on my list that I wanted to include that I haven't, um, but time. So um, I think I'm going to work on getting some fruit and veg in down here. Got to get the cat in. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Really, really enjoying it now. I've gone through the, the phase of hating it um, and I'm coming out the other side. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it now. I can't wait to get it finished. Well, I think I'm done. I'm sure if I go back and I look at it, there will be things that I change. Um, but for this particular um, process, for this challenge, it's done. I did manage to put everything in that I wanted to, and I was definitely far too ambitious. Yeah. I started off too complex, but it's been really good and it's um it's helped me think about our lockdown period in a different way. Um it's helped me to really focus on some of the special things and some of the things that are completely ordinary but actually have been when I look back will be really special. I haven't managed to put in things like the boys next door waving out the window or zooming with my family or the um we've had two birthdays both of us have had birthdays so many things that i haven't managed to put in um but i'm happy i'm happy with it that's the whole thing i can't wait to see what you do so whatever whatever you do do it with love and passion whatever technique you use do it enthusiastically try i mean like try something new 
um, yeah, it's up to you. But whatever it is, enjoy it. And I can't wait to see what you do. Best of luck. Bye.